I'm going to show you guys how to crochet a mini Catherine's wheel. This is very similar to a traditional Catherine's wheel, but it uses fewer stitches and a smaller stitch height than the traditional one. Um, it's just kind of a fun, unique stitch. So to get started, you need to have a foundation row of stitches in the multiples of six plus four. For today, I have 16 stitches. You're going to, and these are foundation single crochets. You're going to begin your first row of the pattern with a chain one. You're going to single crochet. Well, let me get my camera in focus here. You're going to single crochet in that first stitch. You're going to skip the next two stitches, one, two, and in this next stitch right here, you're going to work five half double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all loops to complete your half double crochet. So that's one. Let's complete four more. One, two, three, four, and five. And again, those are all in that same stitch. So you can see one, two, three, four, five. Then you're going to skip the next two stitches, one, two, and half double crochet or single crochet, sorry, in the next stitch. Now you're going to repeat that, skip two stitches, and in the next stitch, work five half double crochets. So there's one. two, three, four, and five. You're going to skip two stitches, skip one, two, and single crochet in the next stitch. And at this point, you should have three stitches remaining. One, two, three. You're going to skip the first two stitches, and in that very last stitch, you're going to work three half double crochets. So there's one, two, and three. Okay, to continue, we're going to turn our work, chain one, and we're going to single crochet in the top of that first stitch. Now you're going to chain one and you're going to work five half double crochets together in the next five stitches. This is going to, if you look at row one, you kind of have these peaks and valleys. The five half double crochets together are going to work through the bottom of the valley and up to the next hill. So five half double crochets together. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and do the second stitch, pull up a loop yarn over into the third stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over, go into the fourth stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go into that fifth stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. Yarn over, and there we go. That's a lot of stitches. You're going to chain one to help close that stitch. And then one thing I'm going to do different than some people that crochet of Catherine's Wilbin, so I'm going to do a slip stitch into the base of this stitch that your last half double crochet was, or last half double crochet of the half double crochet five was made in. This will keep a gap from taking place in your work. So just slip stitch right there, nice and loosely. You don't want to pull it tight and then single crochet in the top of the very next stitch. Okay, and now we're gonna repeat that. We're going to chain one, whoops, and half double crochet the next five together. So yarn over, there's one, into the next stitch there's two, into the next stitch there's three, into the next stitch, there's four. Into the next stitch, there's five. 
yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. Chain to help close that. Now slip stitch into that, the base of the stitch or the last stitch, that same one, loosely slip stitch there, single crochet into the next stitch. You're gonna work this all the way across until the end of your row. And you have three stitches left, one, two, three. After you've completed that single crochet, chain one and half double crochet the last three stitches together. One, two, three, yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook. And then chain one to close. Okay, so we're gonna continue with the next row. You're going to, so you've already chained one to close. You're gonna do another chain and turn your work. In the base of the first chain that you used to close that half double crochet three, three together on the last row, in that chain space, you're gonna work three more half double crochets. So right into that space right there. So there's one, two, three half double crochets. Okay, now you're gonna skip two stitches, one, two, and then the top of the stitch right here, you're gonna work a single crochet. Now you're gonna skip one stitch, and then the top of this stitch right here, which is your half double crochet, five together, you're gonna to work five more half double crochets. So right into the center right there. And there is one, two, three, four, five. Now you're gonna skip the two stitches here and single crochet in the top of the next stitch. Skip one stitch and then five more half double crochets into the next stitch. And these, this stitch right here is gonna be the center of those wheels that we're making. So one, two, three half double crochets, four half double crochets, and five. Skip the next two stitches and single crochet in that top of that last stitch. So as you can see, you've got your half double crochet five together and then five more half double crochets. And this is what creates these little wheels in your crochet piece. Okay, we have one more row to work to complete the pattern. We're gonna turn our work and chain one. In the first three stitches, we're gonna work a half double crochet three together. So there's one, two, three, yarn over, pull through all loops on your hook. Chain one to close, and now you're gonna slip stitch in the last of that half double crochet three together, that base of that stitch. And now, single crochet in the next stitch, chain one, and then work five half double crochets together going down into this valley and then back up. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five. Yarn over and pull through all those loops on your hook. Sometimes they glide through great and other times they get a little sticky. Chain one to close that whole stitch. There you go. And then we're gonna slip stitch in the base of that last stitch that that was worked in. Just nice loose slip stitch. And then a single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, five more half double crochets together. One, two, three, four, five, 
five. Yarn over or pull through all loops on your hook. Chain one to close. A loose slip stitch in the base of that last stitch. And then a single crochet in the whoops on the top of the last stitch of your row. So as you can see, whoops, we have built on top of one another, creating this. Now in the next row, it's going to be a repeat of this row, which will create the top part of this wheel. And the repeat, constant repeating of those stitches results in this beautiful alternating wheels in the mini Catherine's wheel.